The fully automatic SMT production lines are equipped with high precision stencil printing machine, high speed integrated placement machine, multi temperature reflow oven, and automatic optical inspection equipment. Before the product goes online, the materials are put on the material rack in sequence according to the code, and then load the materials onto the high-speed feeder according to the BOM table. The solder paste is stored in a 2 to 10 degree Celsius incubator and needs to be naturally warmed and stirred before use. The fully automatic solder paste printing machine. Using an automatic board loading machine to push the PCB into the printing machine, the squeegee scrapes the solder paste into the steel mesh that is hollowed out into the shape required for soldering, and the solder paste sinks so that it is accurately loaded to the required solder position. And the automatic stencil printing machine with an accuracy of 0.005 millimeters accurately applies the solder paste to the pads. The coated PCB is directly sent to the SPI, the solder paste inspection and the 3D lens with the resolution of 10 micrometers is able to quickly and accurately detect unqualified printing. After the inspection, the PCB enters the next key process, placement, and the components are grabbed by the high-speed machine grabbing head. After identification, PCBs are placed in a sequence according to the program. Each production line is equipped with two sets of Yamaha YS series high-speed and high-precision placement machine with an accuracy of 0.02 millimeters. And two machines together are able to achieve a placement speed of 150,000 pieces an hour. The mounted PCB flows into reflow soldering for high temperature soldering. An inert circulating gas is introduced into the reflow soldering machine to remelt the solder paste distributed on the pad and finally solidifies by cooling air. The reflow oven is equipped with 10 temperature zones and the temperature control accuracy reaches one degree Celsius, which ensures smooth and shock-free soldering process, thus ensuring the quality of soldered joints. After the soldering is complete, PCB enters the AOI, the Automatic Optical Inspection. Based on the optical principle, the solder PCB is fully inspected for the soldering quality. The qualified product are visually inspected by the staff again and placed on the anti-static tray. When SMT process is complete, PCBs are neatly placed on anti-static trolleys and ready for the next process. The pre-processing area adopts flexible station setting. Automatic lug cutter with vibrating plate replaces traditional manual cutting and high precision cutting die achieves the accuracy within 0.2 millimeters so as to ensure the consistency and the automatic screw machines help workers to attach through whole power semiconductors to heat sinks fast. Also, a professional and fast programmer is employed to burn firmware into the MCU in the power supply. Advanced Electronic SOP System delivers the operating instructions remotely to realize paper-free workflow. And alarm and light systems improve insertion operation efficiency. The ion generator can reduce static electricity to less than 200 volts by releasing positive and negative ions. All workers wear electrostatic discharge bracelets, which are safely connected to electrostatic bracelet alarms, so as to make sure the bracelets are connected to the earth in real time. And the whole anti-static system is completely grounded to prevent electrostatic damage and improve the product reliability. After the insertion process, the circuit board is soldered to the wave solder machine, which has three preheat zones, and use hot air cycle inverter control. Double wave peak adopts PID automatic temperature control technology, and temperature control precision is within one degree Celsius. The wave soldering fixtures are made of synthetic stone material with temperature resistance above 300 degrees Celsius which is able to better ensure SMT component solder quality on PCB under high ambient temperature. PCB is placed on a conveyor belt and slowly fed into the machine with a 500 kilogram soldering pot and good heat capacity. The solder material is SNAGCU, comply with ZEUS lead-free standards. 
and silver ensures good ductility and reliability of solder joints. The soldering temperature curve is monitored regularly and the tin pot temperature was controlled at 265 plus minus 10 degrees Celsius. The soldering quality strictly follows IPC-610 and related standards. The soldering process is three to six seconds and depth control is three to five millimeters to ensure that each solder joint can be conform a good IMC intermetallic compound so that the component and the circuit board firmly combine. Special splitter fixture is used to protect the device from splitting stress. Cut long pins to avoid puncturing mylar sheet in subsequent operations. Visual inspection of insufficient wave solder joints. The iron temperature is controlled at 350 degrees Celsius plus minus 10 with daily calibration. Each driver is wrapped by a piece of mylar sheet for sufficient insulation. Insert PCBA with mylar sheet into the LED driver shell and assemble input and output end caps. Then the product is initially tested by ATS auto testing system where IT88 series high power electronic load test equipment is utilized. Independently developed by Upartech with precision of 0.01 millivolts, one milliamp. This system is also compatible with 20 to 2500 watt power level and variety of dimming methods. ATS tests the key electrical parameters including the input voltage, output voltage, output current, power factor, efficiency, and dimming parameters. With each barcode scan, the test results are saved to the cloud, which is convenient for traceability. Four axis automatic potting machines with a stroke of 800 by 1000 millimeter and a track accuracy of 0.5 millimeters are utilized. And they have protection functions such as flow interruption protection, over temperature protection, and abnormal mixing of glue and the automatic heating function ensures the standard glue performance. Glue curing is tested daily before filling and six samples are taken every two hours to ensure the curing hardness of each point reached the standard of 55 plus minus 10. All the samples are stored for traceability. Using high accuracy glue pumps with 0.1 gram tolerance, the potting machine stability controls mixture ratio and speed of glue to make sure each power supply is 100% filled. Perform vacuumization process. The vacuumization machine with two kilowatts high power vacuum pump is able to reduce the air pressure to negative 0.09 MPa in one minute to achieve rapid vacuum defoaming. Double vacuumization process ensures there are no bubbles inside the LED driver which is a key step for reliability of high power LED drivers. After standing, the products are moved into the aging room for a four hour burn in, which is an important guarantee for reliability. The eight sets of CPET energy recycling aging machines with 600 watt electronic load for each channel are employed to perform 100% tests equipped with eight aging machines and each with 192 channels. 1,536 pieces of products are tested at the same time, which greatly improves the aging speed. The aging system also monitors in real time and record input and output parameter data. Once a defective product is found, the system automatically alarms. Using the latest three-phase inverter technology, this aging system is able to recycle 60% of the electric energy and reduce the electricity costs. Once the aging is completed, high pot or electric strength test is performed to each product. According to different safety regulations, different high voltages are applied among the input, ground, and output by TH series four channel high voltage test equipment, which alerts once the leakage current exceeds the limit. LED drivers that pass the high pot test will undergo the final tests by ATS again, where the test setup is basically the same as the initial ATS test, covering the test of the parameters such as input, output, efficiency, power factor, and dimming. After scanning the barcode, the test data are also uploaded to the cloud. 
after all inspections are completed. Then comes the final packing process. The remained glue and dirt on the product surfaces are clean. The label size is proofread by an infrared device in advance, and the appearance inspection is carried out again after label attachment. With customized cartons, pack the products according to different specifications, and check where rejection system is able to quickly determine whether there is a shortage in the boxes. Finally, with the automatic carton sealing machine, 10 boxes are able to be completed per minute.